What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. So today I'm going to be talking about a subject that a lot of you guys probably need and that's signs of male insecurity that women hate. Okay, a lot of people watch my channel, a lot of my students and clients and dude, I used to be like this too, man. I used to suffer from a lot of these things. I used to do a lot of these things that women hate. In fact, if you do a couple of these, they're probably never going to call you back. They're probably going to ghost you. Sometimes even one uh, is what is going to kill her attraction for you. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to give you 10 things that guys commonly do that cause women to lose attraction for them like that. So uh, if you don't do these things, you're going to have a lot better chance of getting the girls that you want. Okay. So before I even get to the first one, guys, if you were looking to get a free call with me, there's a survey down below. Uh, if you fill out that survey, it's going to really help out with the channel. Basically, I'm trying to get information about what you guys uh, want to see more of. Uh, and what really um, what really makes you guys uh, nervous or insecure and, and is really going to help you out with women. So if you fill out that survey, it's going to really help out with the channel. And you'll also have a chance to get a free call with me where you can literally ask me whatever you want. Okay, so if you want some help with your dating life, that would be a great place to start. Okay, cool. So the first thing that I'm going to give you when it comes to signs of male insecurity, and I see this all the time, and something that I used to do is when you say things, you're ending things with an upward inflection. So you sound like it's a question, and every time you say this, it makes you sound insecure. It makes you sound like you don't know what you're talking about, or you're unsure about what you're talking about. Women do not want this, okay? They want a guy who says what he means and is sure about what he means, okay? They want a confident guy, but you don't sound confident if you're ending things upward and you have a little bit of a shaky tone, okay? so. When you say things, make it sound definite. Now, if you have a high-pitched voice, obviously, if there are ways, there are exercises that you can do that I've talked about on this channel to lower your voice. A lower tone of voice is generally better for women. Um, but pay special attention uh, to if you're ending things higher, okay? And at, you can end them lower or you can end them like this. That is going to sound a lot more secure than ending upward, okay? So the second one... Uh, after that is going to be maintaining eye contact. Okay, so a lot of guys have trouble maintaining eye contact when they're talking to somebody. Okay, see I'm looking at the camera right now. When guys look at a girl, they tend to look up, they tend to look down, or they tend to not, or, or their eye contact sometimes, and I've seen this before, sometimes when they have really good eye contact and they look like they're looking at the camera, their eyes are shifting. They're, it's very quick, but e e that little bit shows you're not confident shows that you're kind of insecure about what you're doing and i actually used to do that too because when i would look at a girl sometimes my eyes would shift so i had to consciously um make myself not do that sort of stuff okay so when you're looking at a girl maintain eye contact it's totally fine you're supposed to maintain eye contact around like 72 percent um so be looking at them for 72 percent maybe 28 percent you're kind of looking around i say it's Aim for 80 to 90% because uh, you'll usually end out about right. So, But make sure you have good eye contact when you're talking to girls. Otherwise, you look kind of insecure. Okay, the next one that we're going to cover after that is assuming she's saying no. I see this happen with a lot of dudes when they're talking to a girl or when they're texting them as well too. Like the classic example is when a guy is going to ask out a girl and he says, Hey, you want to come do this? It's totally okay if you don't want to. Why would you add that at the end, dude? Like you're already assuming that she's not gonna go out with you, not gonna go out with you. She's gonna say no. So if you put those little things in there, oh, it's totally okay if you don't, if you don't want to, it's totally chill. Like, like you're already assuming that she's gonna say no. Or maybe when she says one thing, like, um, like I don't know, uh, maybe maybe she says, oh, I don't know if I can do that. You're in their head; they're already thinking that the girl's gonna say no. So when women see this, it makes them less likely to want to actually meet up with a guy because if he doesn't feel confident that they're gonna meet up with him, it probably means he's not, he's not a very good match for them. So um, make sure that whenever you're talking to a girl, always assume the attraction. Okay, I say this again and again, dudes. Like even if you're not sure, always go for the positive. Okay, because that's gonna give you the most likely chance uh, of you being able to get this girl okay like basically with this like your whole hat your whole attitude when it comes to women is that you have to assume the attraction but be okay if she's not attracted like you're totally fine with that like that's the kind of attitude that you should have and if you show signs that you don't don't believe that it's less likely she's going to want to go out with you Okay, cool. Um, and this comes down to my next point, which is hesitating. Hesitating is huge. Again, if you're saying things like, oh, I don't know if you, if you can 
make it, but if you can, like those kinds of things. But also too, when guys are walking up and talking to women, this is when I see it the most. When like if you're gonna go in for a kiss or if you're gonna go in for a hug and you hesitate before you're going in, She's not going to want to do it. She's going to get creeped out, okay? So if you're going to go do something, go 100%, dude. Don't go 99. Don't go 98. Hey, how's it going? I'm Lloyd. No. Hey, how's it going? I'm Lloyd. That's a lot better, okay? Coming in with 100% confidence and security. Like, if you can't believe 100% that she's going to like you, believe 100% that you're going to put your best out there, okay? Believe 100% in yourself to do the right things, you, if you can't, you can't always control how she reacts, but you can control how you do things. And going in with a hundred percent is what you should be doing. Don't hesitate. Okay, um, unable to make a decision. Unable to make a decision, you guys. This comes down to when you're planning the date, when you're planning to go out with a girl. If you're like, well, I don't know, what do you want, dude? It's, it's your job. Okay. Hey, what's the plan tonight, dude? Never ask a girl that. You're the guy, you're supposed to be making the plan, <laughs> okay? So if you're a guy who can't make a decision and stick to it, oh, but it's okay if we go here, I'm fine with it, yeah, let's go over here. Fuck that shit, dude. Make your own decision and stick to it. I found myself encountering this problem, you know, even, even subconsciously I'll do this. It's okay to be flexible, but what it's not okay to do is it's not okay to be wish-washy about the decisions that you make, Okay. Because what if you make the decision to stay with her and you're wish-washy about that? Why would she want to get with that guy? Okay. Next thing. Uh, bragging and insulting others. Okay, this is a big sign of male insecurity. If you're bragging all the time, you say, oh, I, I had dinner on this yacht. I hang out with these so-and-so people. There's a small subset of the female population that are uh, probably young, dumb girls who will be impressed by that, okay? These are not the women you want to spend a lot of time with, okay? But usually what it sounds like is it sounds like you're trying to compensate for something. Like, like if you think about a truly confident person, like think about... Um, I don't know, um, a really confident uh, person like uh, Brad Pitt, okay, does Brad Pitt have to brag about all the people that he's hanging out with? No, no, he doesn't, okay, we already know that he's Brad Pitt. Now, imagine if you were someone in uh, Brad Pitt's shoes, would you really be wasting your time telling everybody about how, like, what a great dinner you had with Angelina Jolie or whoever? No, you wouldn't do that, okay, but an insecure person would say stuff like that because they're trying to convince you that they're legit. Okay, so it's a lot of women, a lot of, pretty much all the smart women will get put off by this. So don't brag uh, unnecessarily or insult others. If you're putting other people down to make yourself feel better, that's another huge sign of male insecurity. And a lot of times it comes off as really douchey um, and, and not that funny. Okay, um, next one is fidgeting. If you're fidgeting a lot while you talk to her, like you're moving around, you're adjusting things. I notice when people are standing and they're kind of like swaying from side to side or they're tapping their feet or they're like they're messing with something in their hand. Okay, this all shows that you're that you're nervous. What you want to do is you want to move a lot slower and more deliberately. Moving is fine actually. I actually move my upper body a lot when I talk, but if you notice my feet are planted the whole time and that if your core is centered a lot of times that's going to indicate to her that you're a very confident person but if it's moving around all the time that means you don't know what you're doing okay that means you're uns unsure about your position so move around a lot less or not move around a lot less but uh, don't fidget <laughs> okay cool being small a lot of times I see guys doing this with their gestures okay I use big gestures when I'm talking okay I take up space a lot of guys who are unconfident they don't like doing that they'll sit like this they'll kind of have their legs together okay dude be confident take up space man lean back that's more masculine that's a lot more attractive um you buying into her you buying into her bullshit emotions this is another one that i see a lot okay so a lot of times girls are going to tell you stuff when you talk to them eh, like that like that doesn't mean anything okay so maybe you'll say uh <coughs> uh you'll say hey let's go get a drink or let's go do that and she'll be like oh i don't know like i'm kind of tired like my cat needs to be fed or something like that and the guy will be like oh okay oh sorry i hope you feel better i hope your cat gets fed like dude you ba by saying that you basically just 
like put yourself into the box of total pussy, never gonna have sex with this guy. Okay. The reason why you did that is because you bought you bought into her bullshit statements. Okay. Women know that sometimes that they're they're being irrational, they're being stupid. But if you don't have a code of conduct and you don't have anything to stand up for yourself, well then you're gonna buy into all that bullshit. Okay. And if you buy into it, she's gonna think she's gonna look back later at that message or she's gonna look later back at that statement that she made to you. And the fact that you bought into it that shows that you're not a real man. That shows you that you're insecure and you don't stand up for yourself, okay? If she's being unreasonable, if she's saying something that's silly, like, don't be scared to call her out on it. Now, don't call people out on everything. Like, there's a limit to it. And maybe if you have to call her out so many times, she's probably not the girl you should be hanging out with. But if she's saying something that's irrational or or that's, you know, to total nonsense, uh, yeah, don't be scared to stand up for yourself, dude. Okay? Sometimes women will say that intentionally to see if you react, you know? <laughs> okay, uh, and the final, this is number 10, this is the last one. You put her first, okay? That's a huge sign of male insecurity. What you're basically telling her is you're telling her that my life isn't cool enough for me to put as number one. Your life, your, your job is to make my life great because my life isn't that great right now. She doesn't wanna get with a guy like that. That's a really insecure guy who doesn't think his life is cool. He's not confident, okay? You should never ever put a girl that you are pursuing first. You shouldn't even put her when she's your girlfriend first. You shouldn't even put her as number one when she's your wife. You know what should come first before all of those things? You should put yourself first. You should put your career first before then and then put your family and then that's where your girl comes in, okay? You should never put her first. And if you put her first, that's one of the fastest ways to lose her. Okay, cool. So those are the 10 signs of male insecurity, you guys. If you may attend, consider subscribing. Dudes, I'm going to be in Toronto very soon. I'm going to be doing a free seminar there. So if you guys are interested in that, you want to see me speak, you want to meet me personally, we can talk. Um, I will be there on January 17th. And if you want details of that, please email me, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. I'll probably put some information about that in the description and comments below. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Good luck out there.